Safi bwana ni weekend nyingine nzuri kabisa tuna connect tena hapa double updates mimi natumai kila mtu ana enjoy popote pale alipo bwana unajua ikisha fikaga weekend kama hivi hapa uh, wengine wanaamua kusafiri wengine wanaamua kukaa tu nyumbani na familia alafu tunajua tena tarehe bwana mfuko haikuruhusu kutembea tembea so una chill nyumbani after tena ukifikiria stress za ruto ah ndo kabisa unaamua hata ulale tu yani usitembee wende ukakosa hata E, hela za kurudisha mtoto shule uh, wiki ambayo inafuata wako half time sasa hivi au sio I don't know mimi naitwa Mr WJ na kama kawaida hii hapa ni ulimwengu wa sasa jamani nipe location yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments niambie unanitazama kutoka sehemu gani uh, kwa wale ambao wako hapa hapa nyumbani kwa wale ambao wananitazama kutoka nje nchi uh, mnaweza mkaniachia tu bendera nchi uh, zenu hapa chini kwenye sehemu ya comments alafu kila kitu kitakaa vizuri sana anyways Uh, nataka niwape bwana update kuhusiana na um, au kuhusu uh, the late national treasury official um, Tom Osinde. Uh, Tom Osinde nadhani niliwapa update hapa ikawa nawaambia kwamba mwili wake ulipatikana uh, kule Migori and mpaka um, sasa hivi kuna update ambazo ni za muhimu kabisa uh, unatakiwa kufahamu za majua kwa sababu serikali haiwezi ikakwambia vitu kama hivi uh, especially mtu anapouawa kinyama hivi alafu ni mtu ambaye pia alikuwa anafanya kazi na uh, serikali waga vitu vingine wanaficha ficha ndo basi watu wasikue na fikra zingine kwamba ilikwaje uh, kwa nini aliuawa na nini na mambo kama hayo lakini mimi niko hapa uh, nitakwambia kumeendaje so Johansen Odwor ambaye ndo uh, government pathologist ametoa update kwa sababu anasema kwamba uh, 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 former treasury staff Fred Tom Mukayo Sinde was slashed to death yani kwa wale ambao sasa uh, walikuwa wanataka kujua ni kitu kipi ambacho kilimtoa uhai kabisa uh, uh, former treasury uh, Fred Osinde au Tom Osinde ni kwamba alikatwa katwa unanipata mzamo majongo alikatwa katwa yani yani whether ni panga au yani chochote ambacho ni, ni sharp unanipata so alikatwa and tunataka kujua hapa alikatwa sehemu gani and uh, ilikwaje mpaka jamaa kapoteza maisha yake so the chief uh, pathologist said Mr. Sinde was slashed on his head twice uh, with one cut going through the back of his head and uh, severing the uh, spinal cord at the level of uh, C7 uh, so Johansen anasema vizuri hapa kwamba uh, Mr. Sinde alikatwa mara mbili kwenye kichwa uh, wakakata nyuma and unajua wakikata nyuma so wakaintafia na spinal cord and sasa hapo si unajua hata kupumua inakuwa ni noma yani hapo hapo tu unaanza sasa ku uh, una, una, unaweza ka bleed kwanza kichwa ndugu yangu mtu ambaye anakupiga kichwa ah huyo ni ni, ni, ni ni mtu ambaye anajaribu kuintafia na akili yako yani brain au so bana and the C7 segment uh, the C7 segment of the spinal cord bears the primary load from the weight of the head and support the lower part of the neck au so bana so walipopiga hivi kaintafia na spinal cord so ikawa tena hapa sasa inakuwa ndo noma so unajua hapa ndo kila kitu ndugu yangu wewe jiulize kwa nini huaga tunachinja kuku hapa yani hii uki, uki separate na huku ni noma heri hata uki separate huku mguu nani mkono fresh lakini mtu aki yani huku akinitafia na huku na wewe sasa uwezi ukatoboa uh, sio rahisi utoboe mzamaji wangu and uh, kaendelea kusema kwamba the other cut went through the right side of the head and uh, fractured the skull with injury to the brain unanipata so zilikuwa cut mbili moja ilikuwa huku alafu nyingine ikawa huku sindo right side of the head wewe okay kwangu mimi huku ni, ni left lakini ukiniangalia sasa ndo utaona ni ni right au so bana So um, uh, that's the other cut went through the right side of the head and uh, fractured the skull with injury to the brain. So uh, wakati ilipigwa ikapiga skull vizuri. So skull ndio hiyo sasa ikishakuwa interfered nayo uh, inakuwa ni noma hata kwenye brain. Ina, ina disconnect tu kabisa yani uh, uh, yani anaweza nikasema vitu ambavyo vinapatikana huko ndani. And uh, Dr. Duor spoke to Nation Africa at the Kisi Teaching and uh, Referral Hospital Mochari after conducting a three hour uh, hour long post mortem so Johansen bwana shughuli hii hapa kwa wale ambao wanajiuliza wana ilifanyika wapi uh, imefanyika Kisi Teaching and Referral Hospital yes and uh, kaendelea kusema kwamba what killed him was two blows to his head with injury to the brain uh, uh, say Dr. Odor i think hawa watu walikuwa wanataka kumaliza tu yani hapa huko ana kitu kingine 
Uh, the path uh, pathologist added he, he doesn't look like someone who resists, uh, resists uh, so much. Uh, Johansen anasema kwamba wakati anakatwa katwa uh, kulingana na uchunguzi ambao wamefanya uh, kwa takriban masaa matatu inasema kwamba jamaa anaonekana haku haku resist. Unajua unajua kuna kujidefend na nini na mambo kama lakini unakutaga sometimes unapatikana kwenye kona ndugu yangu. Eh wanakupataka kwenye kona hata u, sasa uweze hata ukajidefend kwa sababu unaangalia watu wenyewe watatu wamejaa eh ah, na bunduki. Sometimes hata unajaribu kurudi lo ndo yani isiseme unajua mara nyingi tunaambiwa kwamba ukikutana na watu kama hawa usijaribu ku resist yani usijaribu kupigana nao kwa sababu watakumaliza so sometimes tunaambiwa usi struggle na wao wanaweza wakakuacha labda kuna kitu walikuwa nafuata na nini so wakishapata wanaweza wakaenda wakakuacha na nini lakini hii hapa i think um, na marehem alidhani labda aspo resist watamwacha but sasa ndio hivyo wale hawakuwa na mission nyingine whether ulikuwa umelala whether ulikuwa umekaa wao mission yao moja ilikuwa ni kukumaliza wewe uh, and akaendelea uh, kusema kwamba uh, we are trying to investigate why he did not resist too much of which mimi sidhani kama itasaidia chochote or see drug kwa sababu wanajiuliza wana, wana, wana kama haku resist basi kuna vitu vingine ambavyo huenda vilifanya si resist kwamba labda alipewa madawa unanipata eh? au labda alikuwa threatened ama labda alikutwa ali, 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 ali tu kiingereza kinasema anawea yani unapatikana tu yani pap washafika like eh hey, nitafanyaje hapa Eh, unanipata mtazamaji wangu alafu pia kaendelea kutoa taarifa kwamba the pathology said uh, they had taken samples from uh, Osinde's body uh, for further analysis wamechukua sample sample hapo kwenye mwili wake and um, watakuwa wanafanya fanya kidogo uh, analysis waone uh, 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 ni vitu gani ambavyo labda uh, watu uh, hawajui au ni vitu gani ambavyo labda watapata vipya uh, kutokana na uh, kifo chake immediately after dr duol completed the postmortem uh, baada ya kumaliza hiyo uh, Mrs. Mr. Osinde's body was transferred to Nakuru for uh, pre uh, salvation awaiting burial at his Nakuru home. Atazikwa Nakuru. So baadaye uh, baada ya postmortem uh, mwili wake ulitolewa huko ukapelekwa mpaka Nakuru uh, kwenye sempa kuhifadhi uh, miili and uh, pale ndo atakuwa na tulia kidogo kwenye friji tuwa kingoja ngoja maswala ya mazishi na mambo kama hayo. And uh, kaendelea kusema kwamba the postmortem report will a detective who are probing the murder of uh, Mr. Osinde in uh, their investigations yes i think pia uh, itawasaidia moja mbili tatu hapo kujua uh, what uh, might have happened uh, can you like about the motive of the murder is yet to be established but police sources famili uh, familiar with the investigation reveal that among uh, the leads are details about uh, bank deposits and the withdrawals the deceased phone cctv satellite uh, images car track details uh, fingerprints dusting and live witness uh, witness account so kuna mambo mengi ambayo watakuwa wanafuatilia and uh, unajua tena vitu kama hivi bwana waga vina vinahusu tu yani it's it's all about um, mimi kwangu mimi nikiuliza naweza nikasema kifo chake kwa sababu treasury sio ndio kila kitu yani treasury ndio pesa inapatikana ndugu yangu so kama ulikuwa unafanya huko na unaona mtu amefukuzwa mpaka akauawa then inamaanisha kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vimefichwa mle ndani. So labda yeye alikuwa na siri fulani, unanipata eh? Labda yeye eh, alikuwa anakatalia labda eh, eh, watu fulani kutumia eh, vitu fulani vibaya, unanipata so mara nyingi nakuwa ni wakumalize to one time. And uh, taarifa ikaendelea uh, kaa anaendelea kutuambia kwamba Mr. Sinde was traveling from his Nakuru resident to uh, his rural home in uh, Borabu, Nyamira County uh, when he went missing on Sunday June 18, 2023. So hapa sasa na, I think niliwaambia kwenye video ya kwanza kwamba marehemu alikuwa nasafiri eh alikuwa nasafiri uh, alikuwa natoka alikuwa natoka Nakuru eh, kwa sababu Nakuru ndo kama town yani kama kama wewe sasa si una, una, unaishi town alafu sasa kuna nyumbani so ikawa alikuwa natoka Nakuru kwenda nyumbani sasa Nyamira and uh, ikawa sasa amepotea June tarehe 18 mwaka 2023 sasa hapo ndo taarifa ilitolewa kwamba jamaa haonekani tena and uh, uh, mwili wake sasa ukakuja ukapatikana Thursday June uh, uh, ilikuwa ni Alhamis ya uh, June at 22 mwaka 2023 uh, sema ambapo inaitwa Kanga Kanga area iko huko Rongo at the banks of the river Kuja hakuwekwa kwenye maji by the way yeah. ilikuwa ni uh, kando ya barabara but at the time the body was found it was swollen and difficult to tell the identity it was dressed in a black vest and a brown t-shirt and uh ulikuwa umefura tayari unajua it's it's almost 5 days eh mwili umewekwa tu sehemu you can imagine namna ambavyo itakaa so uh, maafisa wa polisi wanasema 
alikuwa amevaliwa vest ya ya black na brown t-shirt and the rest of the body was naked ehe ilikuwa ni unyama kweli kweli there was a metallic gold ring on his left uh, ring finger and uh, hawa ni maafisa wa polisi wanatoa uh, taarifa hiyo alafu wanasema pia police from rongo police station took it uh, to migori faro hospital walipeleka uh, kwenye hospitali ya migori uh, i think uh, mochari inapatikana mle, uh, mle ndani uh, na pale imagine nilikaa siku saba watu bado hawajagundua ni yeye unanielewa watu kabisa wako wamegundua ni yeye so mr sindes brother enoch na muel ndo kabisa alienda pale ndugu yake ambaye anaitwa enoch ndo alienda pale and uh, akadhibitisha kweli uh, jamaa kabisa huyu ndo mtu ambaye tunamtafuta ndo hivyo sasa kwa taarifa mbaya ndo hivyo unanipata uh, outside the kisi teaching and refer hospital mocha relative who had gone to witness the postmortem and who have since this incident declined to address the media cast and mourn the killing of their kin uh, claiming there must have been more than one person involved in the killing of course of course mimi naelewa hata wakikataa kuzungumza na vyombo vya habari there is nothing wanataka kusema sasa hivi kwa sababu sio sio shughuli ya mtu mmoja ile kwamba naenda sio mtu mmoja ni kitu yani hii hapa ni kama plan flani tu ambayo ilipangwa vizuri ikaingiana mwisho siku na ipata yani wakaenda waka mtime wakamua and swali ambalo watu wengi wanajiuliza ni kwamba ilikuwaje ilikuwaje kwa sababu pale nyumbani kwake alitoka kwenda nyumbani so inamaanisha nani ali, alisema huyu jamaa anasafiri yani kuna maswali mengi ambayo ndio maana wale wafanyikazi lazima wawekwe ndani kwa sababu wale ndio walikuwa pale and na wale ndio walijua huyu jamaa ametoka so we don't know whether walitumiwa wale wafanyikazi or labda wafanyikazi pia na wao wanaelewa kwa sababu wao ndio wako kwenye scene you never know au so bana uh, mr sinde is a brother to late ken au uh, sinde niliwaambia nadhani the former chief of staff in the office of the uh, washai kufanya kazi na william samuel ruto Um, Ken also served as Kenya's ambassador to Germany from 2010 to 2014 before coming chief of staff at the Harambe House Annex he died in the Nairobi Hospital on December 10 2021 uh, wundi sasa wundi yake, yeah? so Tomo Sinde live uh, in Ngata Ngata iko Nakuru uh-huh. and uh, kitu kipi kingine jamani uh, kwa wale ambao wanataka kujua gari lake lilikuwa la laina la gani um, unaambiwa hapa kwamba alikuwa anaendesha Toyota Land Cruiser 300 and uh, kwa na nyumba and uh, alikuwa na nyumba ambayo ilikuwa inapatikana kwenye eka kama kumi eh, kule nakuru kwenye estate fani vizuri sana au sio and uh, having retired recently osinda's home in gata was the perfect place ndo kabisa sehemu ambapo alikuwa naishi and uh, story bado ni nyingi hapa mtazamaji wangu so i think uh, mpaka sasa hivi ndo kitu ambacho kina, kinapatikana jamani and uh, kwangu mimi naweza nikasema kwamba I think itaishia hapo. I don't think kama kuna kitu kingine ambacho watafanya kikubwa kuliko kitu ambacho washafanya. Washafanya sasa hivi. Unanipata? Kwa sababu ukigojea uki, uki, uki DCI sio wafanye nini? Ah ndugu yangu utakuwa danganya. So let's wait and see tuone ni kitu ambacho kitafanyika. Nimekupa update kidogo uh, details ambazo najua wengi wenu hawako wanajua na labda mkoma natamani kujua. And uh, unaweza kanipea maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments. Unahisi ni kitu kipi haswa? Uh, unaweza uka na uh, au unahisi ni kitu kipi ambacho labda kilitokea uh, mpaka jamaa akamalizwa lakini it's all about uh, government mimi kwangu mimi ukiniuliza mimi nitakwambia nafikiria nahisi kwamba serikali itakuwa imehusika labda wale ambao wako ndani au labda wale ambao walishatoka you never know au so bana nipo muone yako hapo uh, chini kwenye sehemu ya comments na kama hauja subscribe subscribe kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye